So, uh, so what do you do as an animator to make your, your interpretation of the character just a little bit unique? Because they, they're obviously all in our collective consciousness. T right. Tigger is you know, ages old and we all have our, our, our opinion of what he should be, but mm -hmm. your job is to make him your own. So how do, how do you do that? Well, the way you get started with an assignment like this is you go to the Disney archives, or what we call the Disney Research Animation Library, and uh, really check out the old drawings and find out how they drew Tigger, mm. check out his best scenes and flip them and uh, analyze it and see the range of expressions and how the stripes are fitting on his arms and legs and all of that stuff. Try to find out about graphically as much as possible about him. And then it's time to put that aside, look at the storyboard and see what the business is and then make that, that your own, you know, based mm. on, on the story. So you, you take what's been done in terms of the way he looks, but then you can still add expressions and invent your own things with him, you know. Uh, uh, but it's, it's absolutely important that, you, that as an a animator you put your own mark onto the character. You have to. Mm -hmm. What's it like working with, uh, with John Lasseter on something like this, who obviously is a very opinionated, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, creative you know person and uh, and everyone involved is so creative because you're all artists um what's that like what kind of input did he give well i have a lot of respect for john because first of all you think he is the cg guru of the world right and that's all he would be into but he grew up with these hand-drawn yes. films he grew up with winnie the pooh and jungle book and cinderella and and all of them you know so he has a soft spot for that type of animation and i love him for 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 that but uh, also, John is such an amazing story person. You know, he, uh, he said, no matter what medium we're going to use in the future, story is king. You know, we have to, we can't put a story out there unless it's working. So uh, he is just a huge help to our story people. He gives great input, uh, makes stories better that we're tr trying to tell. And he was a big part of this one, too. Hmm. Does the voice actor selection ever influence or inform the work that you are doing in terms of the, the visual aspect of the character? Do you, do you work hand in hand with the voice actor or is it you, you, you guys are just totally separate? No, we, we're on the sound stage often when the voices are being recorded. So I saw Jim Cummings, uh -huh. you know, uh, when he's uh, uh, doing Tigger and coincidentally he also did Pooh, which oh, right. is absolutely crazy because right. those two voices are so different you from could. each other. How the man does it, I will never know, yeah. you know, but he, he has that quality, that, that range, you know, in his vocal cords, I guess. Um, no, I mean, a, a good performance, I think, period, is a big, big springboard for us, for the animators. If the voice and that particular um, recording has, has color, has life, then our job is half done. And it is a half and half, I guess, because even though we're, we call ourselves actors, uh, animators call themselves actors with a pencil, but the voice is done by somebody else, you know, so it's, it's this odd mix where somebody mm. else does the vocal acting and I do the visual acting. Right. You know, it's, it's how, it, how it works. But of course, the voices are always recorded first to be an inspiration for us, for the animation. Oh, okay. Anything that you're working on next? You're, you're a Disney veteran. Is there anything, projects that you're involved with right now? There is nothing specific yet. We have something in the works, but it's in really, really early stages and it's going to be done by the directors who did The Princess and the Frog and uh, Little Mermaid and so forth. Oh, wow. But it, it's really early on, so it'll give uh, the animators a chance right now to do some experimenting, m maybe with new styles. Maybe we're gonna come up with something totally different and take a left turn, you know, for the project. Can't wait to see it. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks.